सर वाई इट इज हैपनिंग वाई द रेशियो ऑफ एक्स बाई ए इज डिसाइडिंग द सेक्स सर वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन द ट्रोसोफिला ड्यू टू द नॉन डिसजंक्शन ऑफ क्रोमोजोम्स नॉन डिसजंक्शन ऑफ द क्रोमोजोम्स द गैमेट्स आर फॉर्मड इन द इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एक्स्ट्रा क्रोमोजोम्स आर लेस क्रोमोजोम्स एक्स्ट्रा क्रोमोजोम्स आर लेस क्रोमोजोम्स दिस इज कॉल्ड एज एन्यूप्लॉयडी why it is happening non disjunction for example you know how many pairs of chromosomes are present in the drosophila four pairs of chromosomes are present three pairs are autosomes one pair is allosomes but here during the disjunction during the gametogenesis for example a a x x is the female drosophila karyotype during the gametogenesis how the ova should be formed ax and ax but what is happening here you know due to non disjunction non disjunction means the chromosomes are not separated during the anaphase of meiotic tube then what happens gametes will be either with one extra chromosome or with the one less chromosome for example a x x and a 0 gametes are produced means what happened so these two are not three are not separated so they go in a continuous way so if the individual has more than its natural chromosome set that is called as aneuploidy what is that aneuploid that is 2n plus 1 or 2n minus 1 2n plus 1 or 2n minus 1. So this is called as aneuploidy. Means what happening here? This is causing due to the non-disjunction. This is non-disjunction. Actual disjunction is ax and ax. Non-disjunction means there is no proper separation of chromosomes during the gametogenesis process. During the gametogenesis process. and here if you take a triplet female if you take triplet female a a x x and if you take this that female is producing number of gametes they are not similar number of gametes are produced which are not similar so a double x double a double x single a triple x triple a single x a ye ye x okay uh, the above one is same so in this way and uh, remaining one will be if it is like this a double x then another will be a x and this is also will be uh, a double a x this is and this is a x c means when you take a triploid female what is triploid female means three sets of chromosomes are present three sets autosomes three sets sex chromosomes when you take three triploid female and during the gametogenesis <coughs> process it produce different types of ova okay not only in the female in the male when you take a diploid male it also produce different types of gametes different types of gametes for example if you see so genetic balance theory who explained the genetic balance theory kelvin bridges so if you take here i'll i start here uh, number of sex chromosomes let us see number of sex chromosomes number of uh, number of sets of autosomes sets of autosomes okay na now x by a ratio x by a ratio x by a ratio okay next 
सेक्स ऑफ इंडिविजुअल सेक्स ऑफ इंडिविजुअल सर इफ यू टेक नंबर ऑफ सेक्स क्रोमोजोम्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक्स 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 जीरो एक्स वाई इफ यू टेक डबल एक्स वाई नेक्स्ट इफ यू टेक ट्रिपल एक्स इफ यू टेक ट्रिपल एक्स वाई अगेन एक्स जीरो अगेन एक्स एक्स इफ यू टेक फोर एक्सेस सर इफ यू टेक आटोजोम्स ये 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 सो हियर आल्सो ये ये सर हियर एक्चुअली ऑल ऑफ दीज गैमेट्स आर फॉर्मड ड्यू टू दी वेन यू आर टेकिंग वॉट ट्रिपलेट फीमेल ट्रिपल ए ट्रिपल एक्स एंड इफ यू टेक डबल ए एक्स वाई मेल वट इज दिस फीमेल सो नंबर ऑफ गैमेट्स मे बी फॉर्मड ओके ना सो दिस इज अबाउट द सेक्स क्रोमोजोम्स एंड दिस इज आटोजोम्स लेट अस सी X by A. How many X chromosomes are here? Two. How many sets of autosomes are here? Two. Okay, na. So that is equal to two by two is equal to what? One. Okay. So here, if you take so X by A, and if you take Value. So x by a ratio here two by two is equal to one. That is female. Okay. So when you take how many X chromosomes are there? One. By how many autosomes are there? Two is equal to point five. So this is again one X chromosome is here. Next two autosomes are here. Next what happens? Point Five value. Next, two X chromosomes. Next, two autosomes. Value is one. Next, if you take three by two, three X chromosomes, two autosomes. That means three by two. Three by two is equal to one point five. Next, this is three by two again. Three by two is equal to what? One point five. This is what one one by Three, one by three, point three three, or point three. This is what two by three, two by three. This is point six three. Okay. Next, this is four by three, four by three. So zero point one one. Okay, so for example, sorry, if you take this is four by three, one point. Okay, so seven. So one point seven change. Okay, so three by four. If you take, generally these are the values of x by y. Generally, whenever the value is one, that is female. Whenever the value is point five, that will become. male here this will become male so this will be female sir if the ratio is more than 1 then it is said to be meta female sir what is this meta female this is also meta female if value is more than 1 point 1 point that is called as meta female so this is meta male okay so if this is This is also meta male. Otherwise, this is the ratio between 0.5 to 0.1. That means 0.5 to 1. Then this is said to be intersex. This is again meta female. Meta female. 
so here if you look at this table sex is even though you take these two examples sir sir what is the karyotype you, you just fertilize them you will get a a x y a x y so that developed into male 